E... It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're checking out everything that's new in Autotune Pro 11. As you all know, Autotune is easily one of the most famous plugins to ever exist. Whether you love it or despise it, the fact is undeniable that Autotune has been used on almost every modern vocal from the past few decades. This flagship plugin by Antares has seen countless small updates and improvements over the years, but this latest version takes it to a whole new level with Autotune Pro 11. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all the new features, effects, sound design tweaks, and creative possibilities in Autotune Pro 11. We're also going to dive into the improved layout and graphics, plus show you how I use Autotune Pro to mix the vocals in a new song I produced called Body to Body, which is a track off of Kara's new album, Beauty and the Boss. Can I have your t -t 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 Don't you wanna meet somebody? Baby, I can see you starving. Sweating till the sheets are glossy. You want me body to body? First, you'll notice a much improved and streamlined graphic user interface. These are things that you kind of just set and forget, whereas these are things that you might be changing throughout your song layer by layer. Starting from left to right, we have tracking. Tracking is how sensitive the plugin is to being thrown off by background noise. I recorded these in a perfectly quiet studio. This isn't a live environment with a band bleeding into the singer's mic or any kind of background noise like that. So when you're in a clean studio, always experiment with like 25 or above. In fact, the famous classic version of Autotune came with 25 as the default position. Position. I'm not sure why it got changed as time went on, but next, of course, you've always had your input types, and it goes from all different kinds of human voices into musical instruments and even bass instruments. This is really useful for maybe pitch correcting an 808 or a single bass guitar, and maybe if you have horns or a flute or anything in a higher register, I would probably use instruments. The key of this song happens to be B minor, but if you want to create your own scale, you can always go to chromatic, drop down advanced mode, remove whatever keys you don't need. Let's say you have a really weird melody that just uses these notes or whatever. Boom, you just created a custom scale by omitting the notes that you don't need. Maybe you just needed a minor scale with a little tweak to it. They have a button for it right here. I used to just use this chromatic mode because it, it would show the piano meter. You don't want love, well then you're in love. But now the auto-tune update, they show you the piano meter, whether you commit to a scale up here in the top menu or you customize it down here. So I really appreciate that. If you use the companion app auto key, you can drop that on one of your beat stems. And we got B minor and then you have a send to auto-tune button. Now this is really handy when you're in a situation like me where you have, I don't know, 20 to 30 versions of auto-tune open, boom, send auto-tune, just made all of them B minor. So if you have a template, that's a great way to, in a single click, adjust all of your auto-tunes to the same key. Now moving along the top bar, we have our presets menu, which comes with a lot of effects and harmony presets, which we're gonna get into later. And beside that, we have an option between modern and classic mode. Classic means no format correction, and modern means pitch and formant correction. Then speaking of formants, we have an actual formant shifting control if you want to do a funky effect to make the singer sound larger or smaller. You say you don't want love, but then you're in love. I don't give that up so easy. I'm just so curious how you feel to touch. A really fun effect that you could do without having to change the key of the vocal. It's just formant shifting, because transposing is obviously changing the key. Let's just turn off this musical note button and do an octave. I actually use this transpose as an effect somewhere later in the song. This tension got us super glue. Like what's me and what's See this little automation right here. Speaking the language that ain't even taught. While I'm not like a zoo. What if I can give you everything you ever wanted in a second? So those are all the features along the top row. The only things I didn't touch on yet is auto mode and graph mode. Obviously, we've been looking at auto mode this entire time. There's a whole nother side to Autotune Pro called graph mode. This is where you can do your manual pitch corrections and find hand tune adjustments without having the plugin guess for you. Let's switch it over to graph mode. And since this is really high notes, we're gonna switch our input type to soprano. Then we're gonna record the pitch of our vocal in. Your body, your body's what I want. No talking, your touch is and 
what you're hearing is the raw, untuned singing right now. Get a little closer now. Maybe we can work these out. And as you can see, they've really improved and simplified the graphics here. It almost reminds me of how it used to look two versions ago, which was my absolute favorite. They've given us this all new zooming and scrolling control down here, which makes it way easier to focus on the little phrase that you're trying to work on. Your touch says enough until we feel the Until we feel the rush. So you can hear you can completely change the melody to something new. Your touch says enough until we feel the rush. This is really useful if maybe you're working with a royalty-free vocal sample that everybody has, or if the singer's gone, you could just create harmonies that the singer didn't even sing before they left. But if you want to learn more on using this to correct terrible singing and make it sound more polished and presentable, or make tiny adjustments to naturally good singing like this, I have an entire in-depth course called the Autotune Pro Course available at wholeloops.com. I'll put links to those in the descriptions below because it really is its own entirely separate beast. But back here to the front page, those are all the controls here in the top row and what they do. The only thing that we haven't touched on yet is the brand new Harmony Player. Now this is a really cool new feature. We just simply turn it on here and turn it on here. Gives you the opportunities to create four different harmonies and trigger them at different times. Let's take one of the simple background vocals like this. Ready. And use the Harmony Player to make it sound a little Shock bit more full it. with octaves that go up and down. Ready. So here we have an octave up and it's at about 4 dB below the main vocal. So let's hold this trigger button down by just creating some automation. So I'm going to enable automation here and let's see what this gives us now. Let's turn the low one down. Boom. And now we can copy that same auto tune with the harmony player up to here pan them left and right, and just from two layers of singing, we've created what sounds like six layers of singing. Your body, your body's what I want, no talking, your touch is as enough, until we feel the rush, get a little closer now, maybe we can work this out. You can do that same trick here on the doubles too. Baby, I can see you starving. You want me, body to body. Don't you wanna meet somebody? Baby, I can see you starving. Sweat into the suit that glassy. You want me, body to body. Don't you wanna drink this liquor? Make you feel the heat and shave it. You know, you know I deliver. You want me, body to body. And then of course, there's no better way to blend in your artificial harmonies than with some effects and filters and things that'll help it separate it from the original vocal like stereo width. Same thing with timing variation and pitch variation. Baby, I can see you starving. Sweat into the sheets are classy. You want me body to body. Let's hear in the mix. You wanna drink this liquor. Make you feel the heat and shiver. You know you know I deliver. You want me body to body. So the Autotune Pro Harmony Player really is a saucy way to expand on your stack without having to really record more. Or it opens up entirely new octaves that get you into places in your mix that you never were before. Don't you wanna meet somebody? somebody. Baby, I can see you starving. Sweat into the sheets are glossy. You want me body to body. Don't you wanna drink this liquor? Make you feel the heat and shiver. You know you know I deliver. You want me body to body. Features that you might not have noticed here in the updated Autotune Pro 11 is this new menu here in the top left corner, which gives you access to every single instance of Autotune in your entire session to make adjustments to the settings without having to constantly close and open your plugin. Another really useful feature that Autotune Pro 11 has added is MIDI hardware mapping integration. That means that you can assign the most important knobs like retune speed, flex tune to various knobs on your MIDI controller for easy access even when the plugin isn't open. To find those settings, all you have to do is go into your preferences, go to MIDI, and choose the MIDI input channel of your device. Now you can go here to MIDI control, pick one of the various controls on your control surface, and you can assign it as the knob. Similarly, you can go into the Harmony Player, right click on one of these triggers, and maybe assign a button on your drum pad as the physical trigger for a harmony here in the Harmony Player. It's such a convenient way to give you control over the plugin, even when you don't have the plugin open. 
And one final really useful feature here in the settings menu before we move on is use low latency. If you like tracking through autotune or hearing it in your headphones while you sing, this is going to be the setting for you. Obviously, when you're mixing, I would turn this off. But if you're going to set up a vocal template with a minimum amount of plugins and a minimum buffer size for a really smooth low latency experience, this is absolutely going to be the setting that you're going to want to use. And then when you're ready to mix, turn it back off and go crazy with all the features. And finally, just like every version of Autotune Pro, you get the traditional Autotune simplicity with the note that you're hearing, how it's getting pushed sharp or flat around it, retune, flex, natural vibrato, and humanize. All four of these controls sound very similar, but they all have slight differences. But let's do a little demonstration of each one. Down, like you could resist. You say you don't want love, well then you're in luck. I don't give that up, so. Let's try using flex tune to mask this high retune speed. Sometimes having a little bit of delay before the pitch correction using flex tune helps you get away with a higher retune number. You say you don't want love, well then you're in luck. I don't give that up so easy. I'm just so curious how you feel to touch. Can I have your? You could hear all the scoops and natural inflections are just left way more intact with flex tune up. A really great cheat code for getting away with a high retune speed. Over here with natural vibrato, this here's the vibrato that's already present in the vocal and accentuates it or reduces it based off of your input. Let's try turning it up. You say you don't want love, well then you're in luck. I don't give that up so easy. I'm just so curious. So you could hear it takes the wobbliness of the vocal and makes it even more pronounced, whereas going like this would tighten it up. You say you don't want love, well then you're in luck. I don't give that up so easy. But this is something that I usually keep at 0.0. .0. And then humanize is kind of the opposite of flex tune, whereas this kind of affects the attacks and transition of the notes, whereas humanize affects the long sustained parts of the notes and lets you loosen them up while long notes are being held. You say you don't want love, well then you're in luck. I don't give that up so easy. So the quick staccato passing notes don't get affected by humanize. The legato long sustain notes are what humanize affects. Whereas retune speed just affects all the incoming pitch. Dutch, can I have your Don't you wanna meet somebody? Baby, I can see you starving. Sweat until the sheets are glossy. You want me by the body. Don't you wanna drink this liquor? Make you feel the heat and shiver You know you know I deliver You want me body to body so there you have it, all the brand new features in Autotune Pro 11. If you want to get your hands on these updates, I'll include links in the description below to Autotune Pro 11 and all my other favorite Antares products and catch you guys next time in another video.